We're going to be on a boat. But all may not be as it seems with this game. We have to see. We have to wait and find out what's going on. Let's see. Job listing. Angler wanted. A professional fisher person. Didn't see the lighthouse. The small coastal town of Bear Island. The morning light fills your eyes. You try to sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock, but you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers, disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. He already looks terrifying. Welcome to Greater Marrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. <laughs> Did you not see Lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah oh, well. Glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but I've had a few of the locals move your things to one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss more details. I'll let you get out there to catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in to light. <laughs> he looks like... I've never seen the movie, but the movie Leprechaun. Like, I've seen pictures of it, and that's what he looks like. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back by sundown before fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on time, it can really creep up on you. Back by sundown, you say? I wonder why. Mysteries. Ah, inventory. Catchable fish types. Fishing speed, coastal, cabin, pursuits, map, encyclopedia. Interesting. Wow, so many different areas. Mangrove, haddle, volcanic, abyssal, oceanic, shallow, coastal, mirrors, gill cliffs, okay. Catch a fish or two. No messages. Off we go, then. Oh, X to leave. We are sailing. Rotate the camera. Mouse, mouse, up, down. Okay. Oh. Move to a fishing spot. Look for splashes on the surface and press F. Look how gorgeous this is. Maybe I won't go home. Maybe I'll stay here and make a new life for myself. Best thing that ever happened to me crashing into that rock. Ah, that's an interesting fishing mechanic. I've never seen one like that before. Blue mackerel. Ah, and then I have to put it away. Okay. That's a big fish. Why is that glowing? floating boy. It serves to mark safe passage past dangerous rocks and obscured hazards. Its dim light also provides a brief respite in the gloom of the night. Or, for the Americans, a buoy. Oh, another fish. A cod. Delicious. Oh, look, it's a different shape. I'm playing Tetris now. What's all this gurgling? I don't like these, uh... Water sounds. Let me be honest with you. For anyone who doesn't know, I have a crippling fear when it comes to the water, so... Strap in. Start fishing. Oh, missed that one. Ah, it's another bloody blue mackerel, that is. Do you guys have a favourite fish? I mean, maybe for, like, looks, but also maybe for eating. I've only ever had, I think... 
What have I had? Cod? Haddock? Sometimes get haddock instead of cod, because I feel like cod was overfished for a while. So I was buying haddock for a bit. Whoa, are these like sharks? Um, salmon, I guess. Obvious one. Tuna? What's a tuna? Disturbed water. You don't have the right equipment. Oh, we're not like good enough to catch big boys yet. I feel like maybe that's the only fish I've had though. Oh, mackerel. Mackerel's nice on toast or something. We got a message. Morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets. Around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. 1927. When is this game set? I love the rocks here. The layers, the colours are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing's relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night. Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took it more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean's Riches was a good name. Oh, so you brought bad luck onto the boat, huh? I think he's prepared a surprise picnic lunch. Eh, uh, picnic. I can see the basket half-hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. Hello, let's find some more of these messages. I'm into that. With a bit of a dreamy romance novel. Dredging. I don't have the right equipment. Okay, I guess I'm just catching some fish then. Oh, wait. Catch a fish or two. The mayor has asked me to catch a few fish and return to the dock. I mean, I caught some, but I guess we'll... Time only advances when moving or fishing or taking other specific actions. I like that. That means we can chill here and talk and look at stuff without worrying about the time passing. I like that a lot. I think that reminds me of, I think it was Lit Littlewood that did that, which was kind of like a very casual kind of Stardew type game. And I liked that. What did we get? Another one of these. Bum, 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 bum. Fish in. You've eaten catfish? You probably eat different fish in different parts of the world, right? And depending on where you are, if you're near water or not. They eat jelly deals in some parts of London. Jelly deals in East London. Not for me. Oh, another one of those. Those seem to be very common. Doing a fish. And another cod. Getting pretty full. Maybe we scooch on back. The jelly deals taste good. I have never dared try. You look lost, fisherman. Are you after somewhere to sell your catch? Greater Marrow's on the west side of the bay. Keep an eye on the lighthouse. Oh, this isn't my house. This isn't... Oh. I pulled in at the wrong dock. Excuse me. Wouldn't want to lose sight of it. Ah, uh, sorry. You're a trader, though. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques. The shelves full of jewellery and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello! Is that... No. I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialise in antiques and jewellery. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. That's the sound of his pipe. I do my own sound effects as well. Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? What's that you're writing, old man? A spell? Um, I have no trinkets, sorry. Cash on you. Um, I thought that was where I needed to be, but it's over here. Let's hope it doesn't get dark before we're back, I suppose. Select your lights by holding E, toggle them with... Ah. Foghorn. 
want to fog the horn. Nice. Lights. Beautiful. Hello? Who's horning back? There's no one there. Haunted. You step onto the dock at Great Amaro. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah! Oh, I can never do that voice and the old man voice one after the other. They get confused. Hey, Uncle Nice, that's better. I see you've returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat was too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel. Yours to own. I understand you may not have necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. Oh, it's Mr. Twitch, is it? Is that your name? A small amount of interest will go towards improving town. To recap, you'll need to sell fish to local market, paying off your debt, and in turn keeping population fed and satisfied. Understand. Sell fish to the town and pay off my debt. Got it. A local fishmonger will appraise and purchase what you catch. Off you go then. Sell those fish while they're still fresh. I don't know, I don't trust the mayor. Do you? Can you trust any mayor? Is there ever a good mayor in a game? Or a movie? Or anything? In life? Uh, Maybelline, thank you so much for the 27 months. Happy Friday. Do well. Thanks. You enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around a downcast man behind the counter. <laughs> yeah, you're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. I'll have this. Fi Old man voice is already gone. I'll have to use this one. Um, what happened to the other one? Hey. It takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. Anyway, to business. I'll pay you for fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more too. Other towns on other islands might pay you different. But while you've still got a debt outstanding here, I'd suggest you work on paying it off first. Let's see what you got. I got some fish to storage. Sell, okay. So these are five, ten. Ah, they're different sizes. Hmm, okay. How much is the cod? 15, 19, 17. That's all right. And how much my debt is? Wait, it said debt, debt adjusted minus two. Guess we'll see. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger's store. Excellent work. I've no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by docks. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? Research part. A curious looking component. Could be used to develop new equipment, but would need some investigation at a dock first. Oh, one last thing. Our local ship rat mentioned she might be able to make some modifications for your ship. Where are ah, there they are. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hull. She looks up at you briefly before turning back to work. You must be the new fisherman. I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favours round here. Payment up front. Everything takes some time to install. If you take any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up. She shrugs and gestures towards the hull she's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards all well above the waterline are splintered and scratched. Take a look round. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install. Can you look at this for me? Then 
Did it say take this to the shipwright? A weighted line, a simple skimmer. You don't do research? Ah, $36 remaining. We shall sleep for the night. Until dawn. Womp, womp, womp. Kinda wish I hadn't played that so recently. That would've been a good October game, but it is what it is. Um. Ah, research. Ah, okay. I have, it's one research part and you use that to research these, but not available in the demo. Okay. Balls. I wonder if there's anything that I can research. Oh look, pots and nets. And dock. Six thirty in the morning. Out on the boat. Living our new cozy life. Definitely nothing untoward happening around here. A trophy fish. Just enjoying life. Oh, didn't have this stuff for that one. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Shame old, shame old. Ah, that was for the dredging, wasn't it? I need some more bottles. We need to know what happened with these honeymooners. Let's hope they kept a very detailed account of things. Too shallow. They look like... Place. <laughs> Are those the flat ones? I think so. Place? Flatfish? Gotcha. I didn't even think about staying in the same place and just fishing it more than once. Makes perfect sense. Ah. Yes. Wonderful. Stock low. I mean, maybe I shouldn't overfish it, you know? Let's see. So it keeps track of everything you've caught. I have no mission. Okay. And this was that little town. Can't catch those yet. High stock cod. Oh. Can I rotate this? <gasps> yes. No fish here right now. Oh, 6 p.m. Best to get back. Just me rolling back into the quiet dock like that at 6 p.m. whilst they're all having their tea. Ah, oh, bloody hell, new fisherman's bloody annoying already, isn't he? Day two, get rid of him. I'm home! Who needs fish for their chips, baby? Oh, God. I don't know why you bring them here. I've had a special order come through from a customer. If you can fulfil it, I'll pay above normal prices. They asked for one gulf flounder and one grey eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. Shipwright should be able to sort it. Hope seagulls didn't get to your catch. Blasted pests. So wait, practically worthless, but enough to stave off hunger. For my trophy fish? 
Is it a trophy fish because it's so small? 29 centimeters. Oh no, it says that about them all. Legit thought the fly on the screen was a fly in real life for a second then. Um, I guess I sell that? I don't, what do you do with trophy fish? Oh wait, there's a sell all. Nice. I've nearly paid off my debt. So a weighted line catches larger and deeper fish and a simple skimmer suited to catching fish in the shallows. So we want that. There we go. Nice. Then we go sleep sleeps. Snooze. A hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concern and visible apprehension. Does anyone else ever, every so often picture those people you see with like humps, like old people, and suddenly you're like straight in your back? And you're like, oh, I don't want to hump. Just me? Why are you here? Um, I've come to fish. There's nothing here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor. Move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. Mare. Just the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Marrow? Would you give this package to dock worker there, please? Sorry, all full up. Come back when you have more space. Wait, no, I have... What do you mean? What? Nice. Oh, I have to... Okay. There we go. I've got plenty of space. Thank you. The mayor hands you a small, damp package. This is moist. Bound in string. It's dripping slightly. Dock workers will pay upon delivery. Be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Don't forget to check compass and map if you get lost. The bell tolls for ye. Sorry, what was that? I said, uh, good travels. It's raining. Oh wait, let's try the shallows now. Did you want me to take this here? Deliver the package to Little Marrow. It is here. <laughs> I love that these two opposite villages, Greater Marrow and Little Marrow. Look at this map. Pretty big, actually. We don't like any of them over there at Greater Marrow. I think they're better than us. A delivery. Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. This will do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back. Didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat any time. I know how lonely it can be, he said, stroking the chair next to him. Ah, uh, must get back to the fish now. A fishing romance. Um, look. Let me see. Sustainable fishing. Read. Selected as active book. Pastime to read. Okay. I guess we learned something from that, I would think. Garrit. Happy Friday. 22 months. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Alright, let's try and catch these. Whoa, watch that rock. Special fish. Are these shallows? It is the shallows. 
A stingray. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, catch some more in the shallows, because we haven't done this yet. Pretty big. Oops. Skibidi bonk. Ah. Can't fit it in. Okay. Can I get two of these in? Wait, why is this one like this? A shard ray. The stone skin of this ray is molded around a black crystal shard. The rock fragments articulate and grind together. It looks like a robot or something. Is that real? Huh. Maybe take these back and sell them because they're pretty full. Just constantly raving on the boat. Oh, here he comes, playing his bloody trombone. They called him the trombone champ. Mr. Mayor, I delivered it. Um, What happened to the last fisherman? Who? Oh, the last fisherman? Oh, he was very unreliable. He'd go out at night, come back with no fish, and proceed to sleep all day. He was also a terrible captain. I mean, really terrible. Constantly running aground on reef, even in broad daylight. Shipwright almost ran out of wood for repairs. No, he was no good. One evening he left and never came back. So long, he shan't be missed by us. Now, what else can I do for you? What about the wider region? Certainly. Is there somewhere in particular you wish to know more about? The Devil's Spine. Ah, oh, yeah, it's quite exciting, really. Active volcano amongst city of ancient ruin. I must caution against sailing there, however. The ruins lie low in water and would surely tear through your hull. Not to mention the aforementioned volcano could erupt at any moment. You could occasionally hear it rumbling from here. Rumble, rumble. That was you? No, it's volcano. Rumble, rumble. I can see you moving your mouth. Is there another area you'd like to discuss? Um, that's it. Let me sell my fish. You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <laughs> ah, now this is sort of specimen to liven up my day. I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish, as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach and a small shape can be seen against bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. 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 Do you pronounce the D? I feel like you just say handkerchief. The D is silent. Well, never seen that before in all my days. I'll give you this thing and I'll pay you for the fish too. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts. I'm sure you'll find more before long. Oh. Whoa, these sell for a lot. A once beautiful handkerchief drawn from the insides of a grotesque fish. Hmm, I wonder if that's a trinket to sell to the old man. Could be. Return. A man is looking at you through your cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. Um. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I'll be clear. I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it. But not here. Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of this bay and cut south. I have a business proposition you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. <laughs> so hard to be sinister. I know what you did at the fishmongers. Sorry? Just bought some smoked salmon for my tea. I've been watching you. Fish lover. What? I just wanted to buy some fish. 
cut south, you say? I mean, I'm a little scared to try and go over there when it's 2 p.m. already. Maybe we do it tomorrow. When we have time, right? He said be back by dawn. Oh, a golf. We need that for the special mission, don't we? What was that sound? Oh, it's a trophy. Okay. Cyclopean flounder. A sprawling jellied mass spills from a single eye socket. What appears to be a dark pupil is in fact the center of an egg. I feel sick. Gross. Let's read the uh, encyclopedia about it. Um, an aberration of that previous one that we found of the gulf flounder. Whoa, okay. So every... F there's like 80 fish? There's even more. Oh my god. There's over 100. There's over 100. There's 128 fish. And each one of them has an aberration? And potentially plural. I just saw one with two. Yo. It's a lot of fish. And they look pretty scary. Um, what was the other one? An eel. Okay, let's see if we can find it. Another gold flounder. Another gold flounder. This spot has been depleted. Hopefully there's nothing to depleting a spot on it. A spot? A spot and overfishing it. Why did I say splot? Yeah, nice spot you got here for a picnic. That new fisherman's got speed. Someone did it back. This would be cute if it was multiplayer, wouldn't it? But like in the same way Journey is, like, there's no interaction. It's just people who happen to be playing the game and you can, like, burp, burp, horn at each other. Got any fish? Yeah, got any fish for that order? Don't change my voice. Hello, got any fish for that order? Yeah. Just leave whatever you have here. Okay, one of these, I think. There you go. Done. All right, come back when you have everything. Sell all fish. Close to paying off my debt. The mayor is walking quickly towards you. He seems to be in good mood, with a spring in his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Marrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. In fact, I've granted a consent for Shipwright to expand our facilities. Old Dry Dock is operational, again. I've also allocated some money to improve Fishmonger's services. They might have something to talk to you about soon. Keep up good work. We're glad you've chosen to be here with us. I didn't choose to be. I crashed here. This is the Dry Dock. We can make significant improvements to your vessel here. Extra space, more attachment points, even superior hulls. We'll need a decent stock of hard materials. Plenty of decent materials around the coast, various shipwrecks and the like. I guess I need to dredge them. Materials assigned towards upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry if you only have half of what we need. Select an upgrade project. Rod space, not available in demo. Four net spaces, not available in demo. Two engine spaces, not available in demo. Light space, not available in demo. Okay. So something for the future, I guess. This game isn't due out till next year, so I was actually surprised they even had a demo, to be honest. Um, sleep. All right. Let us head to Creepy Man Island. Bon chance. Voyage. Now feed the same. Mm -hmm. 
You have an alarm set for midnight, so you remember to say white rabbit three times at the start of a month for good luck? I've never heard that before. Where's that superstition from? Whoa! The ruined mansion. The man standing in a doorway. The man is standing in a doorway, rather, watching you approach like the creep he is. He's holding an old book in one hand, bound in crimson with silver ribbons. You came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Allow myself to introduce myself. I'm a collector of many things. Art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. And you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel with equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Find me these lost relics, and I will reward you in ways beyond all imagining, imagining, imagining. How big's that mansion? You got an echo in there. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours with your vessel to make the necessary alterations, rations, rations. What do you say, say, say? I accept. An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment. Immediately. The relics we've been looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around the towns about shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. Shh. Okay. I thought he was going to be the bad guy. But he seems alright. What do we need here? Oh, oh dear. I should just fish in the shallows, really. So we can try and find that eel. What do you think? Do you think that guy means well? Good or bad? Let's see, is this shallows? Shallows. Another gulf. I wonder where the eels are. And I wonder if the shape has anything to do with them. Like, these are the shape that's down there. Hmm. I haven't seen an eel shape. That's wood. Oh! 6 p.m. Best be at gnome. Turn on lights. Oh, lights were on. Bloody hell, do you know what uh, happened with electricity bills? You've had light on during day. Ridiculous. What's that glow? That's the question. I think we should go check that out. Um. What is it? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot near the back of Greater Marrow, where the current carries in wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an unnatural glow rising from that patch of dark water. I can't imagine what's down there in the deep. If you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you just move on. No. Who lives on Blackstone Isle? I see a lot from up here, you know. I saw that ill-fated boat return. I chose to look the other way. 
I watched an unnatural glow flicker through those windows. Whatever you've got planned, I hope you know what you're doing out there. What does she mean? I thought she was going to say. No one's lived there for 30 years. I was doing deals with a ghost. Wait. No, I don't have an eel for you. Sorry. Sell all these, though. Not all schools of fish are the same. Some contain abnormal specimens. Sometimes you can even tell just looking from surface. Okay. Builder. You approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out to sea. She turns to you. What's it like out there? I don't want to talk about it. It's got to be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. I can't go back. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. If you find me some materials, maybe you can help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island I've heard about. Steel Point to north. Two units of lumber, two units of scrap. That's all I need. I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit too. Listen. <laughs> Go slower. Just stack it up at Steel Point when you have anything. I'll pay you when job's done. You'd be welcome, strong young fisherman like you. Let's go. Let's go see if we can turn the light off for one. And let's go see if we can find the wreck. Ah, we read our book. 10% chance to not reduce fish stock when catching a fish with a rod. Ah. I wonder if you have to go to the wreck at night time. See something here. Dredge. What we dredge in. Whoa, what's this? Oh! 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 I have to dodge out the way. Okay. There we go. Bolt of cloth. Hmm. Lock the wreck. Another bolt of cloth. Rotate. Stick in corner. Depleted. I wonder if that was the crash site. Didn't seem like it. Mm -hmm. Pole and line, pole and line. Tuna caught with pole and line. Oh! listening things. Okay, there must be a way to get through those rocks at some point. One of these. In the shallows. Array. I'll tell you, you wouldn't get me on a boat out here. Maybe in the daytime. I have been, like, out on a boat to see whales and dolphins, like, a long time ago. But at night time? So scary. <gasps> Wait, what's this? There's a glow. That's the shipwreck. Oh, damn it. Hello? <gasps> dolphins! Look. Right, that's right. Subway, you should lie and pull. Uh, Ginger, thanks so much for the 100 bits. It's sustainable. It's, it is sustainable. Sustainably sourced. I don't know why I couldn't say that for a second. Um, we're pretty... Can I throw this overboard? I can. Okay, just in case we need space. Which we probably will. A relic. Oh, doesn't quite fit. Okay, throw you over. And then we'll take that back. <gasps> it's 6pm. Oh god, get home. Me on a night out. It's 6 p.m. 
I have to make sure I get the last train. Oh no, I don't like it. It's dark. Put the light on. Oh god. Oh dear. We'll wait till morning. Oh dear. Why is there a flashing eye up there? Oh god. I'm so bad with time. I've made a terrible mistake. Exposure to fog and other things increases your panic. Bright lights and sleeping will reduce it. Oi! What are these rocks? Go! Those weren't there earlier, were they? Ah! God! <laughs> that, what? That literally was not there a second ago. It made me jump. Yeah, I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. Rods, reels, and rigs. The fishmonger reaches under the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. Thanks. Sleep. We got a bit spooked there. Okay, let's deliver the relic. Okay, I wish I could go first person. That would be really cool, right? Even in this style, just like looking over the steering wheel. It'd be super chill and really pretty. Are those the dolphins? Imagine having your own little island like this. Is this the dream or a nightmare? Dream or nightmare? I mean, lovely house, right? But would you lose your mind? Like, no shops, nothing. Literally, you'd have to bring stuff in and, like, be prepared to have, you know, like a month's of supply or something. But, like, could be good for the right person. Could be chill. Imagine if they had no internet. That would really suck. Um... You enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. But all the same, they must be found. I never said this would be easy. I suppose we'll see if you have what it takes soon enough. Raise the truth in dredge. Expand your catch with a variety of fishing styles. Acquire powerful abyssal activity abilities, even. Salvage wrecks to upgrade your own vessel. Brave. Oh my gosh, look at the size of that fin. 